that is so El Toria and very autumnal. Oh, it's like a donut. Do you put this in the freezer? Each door was only worth £2.50. I mean, come on. That is such a steal. Oh, I just don't know, guys. Today's video, we have latest in beauty. Now this is an award winning advent calendar. So you can pick this up for 70 pounds. However, if you use the code Eltoria at checkout, you can get it for just 60 pounds. And it's worth over 300 pounds. What? A fantastic saving. But before I get into this video, don't forget that I have a number of giveaways. Once I hit 220, 230, and 240,000 subscribers, I shall be giving away the advent calendars listed on screen. To enter, all you gotta do is subscribe, turn on the notifications, and go follow my Instagram link down below. I've also just released exclusive Instagram advent calendar giveaways so make sure you are following my Instagram to take advantage of all the giveaways. This year's advent calendar is very different to last year's so it looks like a box. Da -da -da -da! It is! Oh my goodness where are the doors? Um, that's a very good question. Where are all the doors? I think Latest in Beauty are trying to embrace the less packaging approach. Um, I kind of get it, but it looks a lot like a beauty box this way. Maybe for next year, they should keep the box idea, but have like little boxes inside. I don't know, I get it, but I just think it makes it not an advent calendar. Anyway, let's see what's inside. So. Door number one, or product number one, should I say. First up, we got something by Color Wow, and this is the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Apparently, this spray has humidity powers, so Monica from Friends would really like this. It transforms texture as well, so it's a really nice styling product. Pop in the hair once it's damp, and then blow dry. Product number two, I absolutely love this and this is by aromatherapy and this is the lavender and peppermint bath and shower oil oh my goodness you guys know how much i love lavender it's my favorite scent especially for this time of year oh my goodness combined with the peppermint actually makes it smell a lot better product number Three, something by Dr. Pawpaw next, and this is the multi-purposeful soothing balm with natural pawpaw. So this is for the lips, cheeks, skin. It's basically a multi-purposeful balm. It's very soothing, but this one has a slight tint in it. Is it an orange tint? Uh, kind of like a ready tint. Product number four. Here we have a Ciate. I can never say this correctly, can I? Ciate. I think, and this is the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. This truly does smell like watermelon. I am obsessed with the scent, and what this will do, it will basically be like a really nice first coat before you pop on your makeup. It makes the makeup look flawless, it's just really nice. Product number five. The thing is, whilst unboxing this, I'm losing my train of thought. I don't know what door I'm on. We have Sukin next. I really do love Sukin, and this is the Blemish Control Clearing Facial Wash. This has pomegranate and also willow herb inside, and what it will do, it actually help to get rid of the pollutants and the muck off from your face. I would actually use this in combination with an electric massager if you have one. Product number six. We have something by Murad next, and this is the Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. Retinol is very anti-aging and very good for the old crow's feet. See, I've got some coming along, haven't I? This basically helps to improve the firmness underneath the eye, so very good for those fine lines. Product number seven. We have a three-step face mask by SOS Skin. So this has a oil controlling T-zone mask, a foaming face wash, and also a precision buffing pad. This mask has witch hazel and also white tea in there, so it's very detoxifying for the skin. Fantastic for problematic skin. And it's just a T-zone mask. Day number eight. 
Oh, oh my goodness, my sister in laws gonna love this. So this is by Floral Street, and it looks like this is their mixture of scents. My sister-in-law really likes the coffee and Elang Lang, and what do you know? It's in here! So you have five different scents. You've got Wild Vanilla and Orchid, Iris Goddess, Shipper, Sublime, I think I said that right, Black Lotus, and Lang and Lang and Espresso. This is a really good product. I love it. Love a bit of scent. Day number nine. Up next, we've got something by Palmer's, and this is the Natural Vitamin E Concentrated Cream, and this is a multi-purposeful cream. So this one is jam-packed with avocado, cocoa butter, apricot, and coconut oil, so it's super hydrating for the skin. You can literally pop this everywhere. What does it smell like? It just has that really nice Palmer scent. Good enough to eat. Door number 10. We have something by Ico next and this is the Ico London Liner. We've had this in previous advent calendars. I haven't come across their mascara yet but the precision on this mascara is just insane. Did I say mascara? I meant eyeliner. Just look at it. Perfect for your wind looks. What door am I on? Am I on door number 12? Product number 11, I think. So we have something by Evisi Bobble here, and this is the Spiral Hair Ring Meets Scrunchie. Oh my goodness. This is a scrunchie. This is very fascinating. Oh my God, it feels absolutely incredible in all fairness. This is new, this is different. I like this a lot. Day number 12. Up next, we got something by Snake and this is the Rodeal Jelly Eye Patches. It does say freeze and smooth on the front. Do you put this in the freezer? Apparently the 1% uh, Cyanake tripeptide and um, actively freezes under eye muscle. Whoa, that's pretty incredible. So it'll help with firmness underneath the eye. Day number 13. We've got quite a large product up next and this is by Foamy and this is a two in one body bar. So apparently this cleanses and nourishes and also it's suitable for sensitive skin. Oh cool, it's like a massaging butter. Mmm, that smells so good. It smells like sweets. Oh, it's like a donut. That smells incredible. So it's got papaya and oat milk inside, so you can definitely smell that papaya. Get someone to give you a massage using this. Product number 14. Oh, we've got a spot of Marc Jacobs next. This is exciting. So this is the highliner, and this is a Glam Glitter Gel Eye Crayon. Could it be something gold? Please be gold, please be gold. Oh, okay, Um, a very unusual color. I would say that it's like a purpley colour. This would look amazing with a smoky look. I'm just going to be real honest right now. I hate the fact that we have no doors. Oh, I just don't know, guys. Day number 15. Here we've got something by Dr. Botanicals, and this is the Lemon Superfood All-in-One Rescue Butter. So this, again, is an all-purpose um, balm. It's vegan friendly and it's super natural. I mean, we've already had the um, Dr. Paul Paul balm. Um, is this necessary? I don't know. I mean, I guess you can use the Dr. Paul Paul for like the face and this for the body. There we go. We've come up with a little plan. This one I've smelt before and it smells just like lemons. Day number 16. Here we've got something by Balance Me and this is the Gradual Tanning Drops. I have been loving these tanning drops recently it's a really good product to pop in your moisturizer and then use on the face or you can use it on its own what does it smell like that doesn't really have any scent day number 17 oh yes this is a really good mascara this is their real and this is by benefit and it's a mascara not gonna lie bad gal is definitely better than this mascara i'm a huge bad gal fan however just look at the wand on this it's so good, it's not clumpy, and it definitely looks like it would add length to the eyelashes. Product number 18, I think. Oh, we've had this in the, which advent calendar was it? This, I think, was in either Elle magazine or 
Boohoo. Anyway, this is by Aurelia and this is Probiotic Skincare and this is the Miracle Cleanser. This has chamomile, eucalyptus and also rosemary inside so it's super gentle and nourishing for the skin. The size is very generous and just look at this. It comes with a muslin cloth. I actually like using this to take off my makeup. It also removes the impurities and it's just super gentle on the skin. Day number 19. Up next, we've got something by Skin Chemist and this is the Rose Quartz Youth Defense Lip Plump. So this is jam-packed with peppermint oil so it'll give that really nice tingly feel on the lips. The colour. It's like a lip gloss with a hint of pink in there. Day number 20. Batiste. I love getting dry shampoo in the advent calendars just because I go through so much. Um, here we've got the dry shampoo and this is the clean and classic original. You really can't beat Batiste. Just smells so fresh. Door number 21 is quite small. This is by Arborian and this is a Korean skincare therapy and this is a mattifying face cream blur effect. So this is kind of like a, a primer. I would 100% wear this underneath makeup because it will help to make the pores look smaller. I'm intrigued to give this a go. For door number 22, we have something by Nux or Nuxy. I say Nux, but this is the Nuxuriance Gold and this is a Nutri Fortifying Oil Cream. Apparently this replenishes it nourishes and great for hydration. And also it's anti-aging. That's good. Oh, for door number 23, we have a spot of MAC. Now granted, it isn't a full-size MAC product. Um, however, we have MAC, we have a lipstick. Now this is in the shade Whirl. Now Whirl is a really nice everyday shade. Whirl has actually featured in the subscription boxes and also some advent calendars so far. Just look at it, I mean, <sighs> That is so El Toria and very autumnal. It's a gorgeous everyday shade. <gasps> My earring just fell out. Day number 24, the final door, I think. We have a visa and this is the Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. I love this, I use it every single time I wash my hair. What it does, um, it basically just like, hydrates your hair. Every time I shampoo and condition my hair and then blow dry it, my hair just feels a bit scrunchy. It's because I have bleach in my hair, I think. Every time I pop this on, however, my skin feels, not my skin, my hair just feels nourished. It doesn't frizz up. It just, it just feels really nice. Absolutely love this product. There we go, guys. So that is everything inside the latest and beauty advent calendar for 2020. I'm not going to lie to you all. I really don't like the fact that we didn't have any doors. It just felt like a beauty box and not an advent calendar. I just wouldn't call this an advent calendar personally. I really think for next year they 100% need to keep the box idea. I think it's a really nice idea because you can use it and then maybe just have like little boxes inside. Do you guys agree? Like drop a comment down below. I 100% love what they're trying to do. I think it, the, the purpose behind it is really nice and you may like that and you may think you know, that's, this is for you, you know, this is how you want your advent calendar to be, but I don't know, just for me, it just didn't feel like an advent calendar. Nevertheless, the products inside were really fantastic. We had a lovely range of products. Um, I think for 60 quid, this is um, an absolutely bloody bargain. If you think about it, 60 divided by 24, each door was only worth £2.50. I mean, come on. That is such a steal. Like I said at the beginning of this video, you can get this box for £60 when you use the code ELTORIA at checkout. I would actually love to hear your honest opinions on the box. I mean, it's very different. Um, do you feel it doesn't feel like an advent calendar? Drop a comment down below. But as always, guys, please make sure that you link, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye.